Hello guys, welcome to my channel Power BI with Ross. My name is Ross and today we're going to discuss about a useful function called is filtered in Power BI. Um, and let's get into it without uh, wasting any of our time. But first, let's, let me give you a scenario. Say you have uh, metrics in your organization where you count the number of safety incidents like someone got injured or some got, someone got their hands burned or something like that, right? So you, you want to count those uh, number of incidents happening in a month or a year or something like that. And uh, you have that and what you want, so your users requesting you is for each department level or area level, so different level of organization, I want different targets set up. So say for the whole organization, there shouldn't be more than 100 incidents. That's our target. When we are uh, in a department level, in a department, there shouldn't be more than uh, 75 incidents. And if we go to the area level, say there shouldn't be more than 50 incidents in a year or some or a month or something like that. So that makes the target dynamic, right? So what we want is when I when we select the first level of hierarchy, it should show 100. When I set the second level of hierarchy, it should show 75. And we, when we select the last deepest level, it should show 50. And if you have more, you want to add and more and more and more and so on, right? So this is the scenario. So how do we do that? Uh, we can do that with the is filtered function. So let's dig into that. So what is filtered function does is it returns true or false value based on if the column the in a table is filtered or not. So what if I do, let me, let me just quickly change this one. Let me demonstrate with the uh, let's say is filtered what I want is so this is the area table this is where I'm getting the data so what I want in the area table and this is the site this is department and the uh, other one that's area right so what I want to do is check if uh, the site column is filtered or not so I go th do this and let me take a card visual and go target true because the site column is filtered but when I select the department column it still says true and we're like oh okay but, but I selected department why 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 is the site level filtered because as you guessed the site falls under the organization sorry the department falls under the site or the organization so yeah it is filtered so even if you select area it still says true so but we want to change that, right? What, what, what we want is we want when we select loading, we want that to be false. We want individual true and false instead of the hierarchical true and false. So w how do we achieve that? So we can achieve that by creating something called depth. So what we can do is say what we want is if this is filtered, I want this value to be one. And uh, sorry, if this level one is filtered one and level two, one plus one, two and level three, one plus one plus one, three. So that's the depth. So that's the deepest levels, third level, second level and first level. So if we do that and when we can, we can use the switch function, say, OK, if the depth is one, then one, one, then this. If it's two, one plus one, then this. And if you do one plus one, plus one, three, then this. Yeah, it might be confusing. Sorry for that, but I'll sh I'll demonstrate with uh, with you the demonstrate with an example. Okay, so what I mean is, if I select, let me just quickly change this one. So what I want to do is is filter area side, and I want to add if filtered uh, is filtered the department level as well. Okay, so what I mean is that when we do this, this is going to return. A different value now say one so what I mean is so when I select the whole site level it says returns one so when I go to the department now it's it gives us two but when I go to area it still says two because we haven't set it up for area right so what I want to do is I also want to add it's filtered and I want to area as well okay and now it's gonna change to three there you go, three, right? So we've set the levels now. Depth, I, ca I call it depth because that's the depth of the hierarchy. So that's depth one, that's depth two, and that's depth three. And we've set it now. Now we can set the target 
based on this value, right? So what we can do now is if the depth is one, set hundred. If the depth is two, set two seventy five. And if the depth is three, the third level, then set fifty. Now this fulfills our management requirement. The management said we want this target for our site, this target for our department, and this target for our area. Now we've solved that. We can do that now by using a switch function. So let me delete that. I've already created this one, the ma measure, the copy of that, which is hierarchy depth is this and this and that, which we already discussed. And uh, I've already created a new uh, measure that uh, gets the target, right? So if the hierarchy level is 100, if 2, 75 is 3, and 50. And that's what I've used in this chart over here. So if I just put it on top of that and say, okay, now I go site, it says 100. Please notice the uh, purple bar over here. If I go department, it says 75, whoa. And if I go area, I've got 50, there you go. Problem solved, the manager is happy, you are happy, problem solved. But yeah, this is this is the end of the tutorial, but, but I also want to mention, just imagine in how many ways we can use this is filtered function. Like what we want, what if there is a measure and what we want is when we calculate this one, uh, so if you, let's say each employee uh, gets a different bonus, right? So like say from department level, they get a different bonus and the area level, they get like 5%, the department, so manager, so manager, let's say manager, the CEO gets the highest, say 20% uh, bonus in a year, say in a department, every department manager gets uh, like a 10% and every, uh, area level managers gets 5% bonus, right? So what we can do is like, if the same thing, hierarchy depth, so if it is one, then increase the salary into 5% of the salary, oh sorry, 20%. If I go department, increase the salary by 20%. So we can create a single measure that gives us a dynamic value based on what we have selected in the slicer. Not only this one, not only that one, we, we can do a date filter as well. Like say if we you picked a year, so there could be yearly target or monthly target or uh, weekly target, not not only target for like other measures like some, like um, the sales or like a profit percent or discount percent. Say if a month is this and that and everything, we can do that. Like there's a lot of application, but ju you just have to get started. And when you are stuck in something like hierarchical, a data set you will always find is filtered function very useful and what i do most of the time is i use is filtered with uh, another function called selected value which i can show you now why not why create a different video when i can show you now right what i do normally is i also use, i use selected value a lot because uh, because of the requirements and stuff so what I do is let's say hierarchy depth is one, hierarchy depth is two, and now what I'm gonna do is, but if the selected value, I want to department level uh, target be 75, right? But what I want is only for the department shipping, okay? For shipping, okay. Selected value of area, and this is department, right? So if the selected value of the department is shipping right I want um, mm, I want the value to be like 30 right and else 75 and I can also use like an if function over here if I got this then and select my like, shipping 30 else uh, it's 30 now and else 75 now if I go over here do that and I go okay there's some issue oh it goes oh okay yeah, yeah, sure, sure. sorry about that I gotta delete that and I want to copy that paste it over here 30 and delete that just two and seventy five and that should do it. Okay, if I go the whole site, what's 
going on here? Okay, for the departments, 50. Okay, the 75, 75. But if I go to shipping, it's 30. See, I made it dynamic. Now you can do this for like different exceptions. Like there could be another exception, like general, I want a different, uh, there's no target at all. So we can set it to zero. So you can again go there, switch and selected value is this and that, then show this and that and everything. So I think you got my point. I, I, and I think, I hope you find this uh, tutorial very helpful. If yes, then please subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna be uploading a lot of videos on DAX as well as mQuery. I love mQuery, um, by the way, Power Query. I'm gonna, uh, I'm going to upload some tutorial on that. So please subscribe, like, and share this video. I hope I helped you, I've helped you like uh, build a better report. That's my plan, that's my um, target. So uh, I'll see you in the next video. Please subscribe and follow me. Thank you.